Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, wonderful, beautiful, strong family. How are you doing? I want to welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And when I say family, my family is anybody who understands what is trying to, what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So, um, I'm letting you know right now, I don't have those kind of hangups. If you with me, you with me. If you get it, you get it. Okay. Because a lot of, um, individuals are not going to see this moment as such a pivotal moment in history. Actually, I'm so glad to be a part of it. I mean, I never thought that I would be a part of it. Just like a lot of people never thought, um, older people never thought they see a day, um, that they would have Barack Obama for president. Damn what the experience was. Let's, we're not, that's not what we're talking about. That's a whole different story for a different day. But the fact that my grandmother, my dad, my mom, they never thought a day was possible that we could hire and have a black president, okay? So, or elect, I should say. So, with that being said, I kind of feel that way about this revolution. Because it is televised. Um, <laughs> the last poet said it wouldn't be. But, you know, I, they, they stand to be corrected. Just like everything else in history, if you keep your mind open. So the revolution is televised. You being a part of it. You witnessing. So the first thing I need for my family to know, I want to know if you will. Okay, and I want to start that. You know, with myself because I had to check in, had to check my pulse, and you know, am I well? You see, because there's a lot of stress and a lot of pain and uncertainty and things that are going on right now, especially with this damn coronavirus, right? So you got all this stuff hitting us at one time. Um, you know, so I want to keep in touch with how I feel. You know, and I suggest you do the same thing. You know, tap yourself on the head. Cross your eyes once in a while to reset the brain and, you know, get the amygdala to go to stop that hamster wheel effect. You know, cross your eyes, you know, switch your hands over each side to the ears. One, Put your uh, left hand on your right ear and your right hand on your left ear. Cross your eyes, you know, do something to reset uh, the programming in yourself. And do a lot of deep breathing exercises, something to keep you calm and in touch with yourself with what's going on, because you are in the revolution. Hmm. You are. So with that being said, I think you should count yourself, first of all, blessed to be a part of uh, this time in history. I knew I, I know I do. OK, but with that being said. I have to make sure that the en enemy don't allow the, uh, the, the energy to permeate. Um, I need to feel it and keep it moving. You know, we talk about that a lot. Like I, I, I said, um, when you think about how long this has been going on and how long the pent up anger, it's been like 400 something years um, that black people have been experiencing a lot of pain. And a lot of the pain that we have experienced, I would say 98% of it, is what was done to us through the middle passages, through slavery, through all that stuff. And that was that was inflicted upon us, right? That's 98% of it. 2% of the issues is what we have to do to, uh, for ourselves. We have to, no matter how hard we try, um, it, it's easy to go back with our pain, um, we have to stay focused on what uh, the movement is, what you see. You do see white people out there. You do see um, black people out there together. I don't see a lot of Mexicans, but <laughs> that's another story. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what you have to realize is this is a time in history that needs to happen. It needs to happen. The young people... And when I say young people, a lot of them really, and a lot of older people really don't 
they didn't understand the dynamics of how deep the rabbit hole got with racism until they saw the George Floyd video. A lot of y'all don't want to believe that, but I do. Um, I've been all over the world, and I've seen different, I've had different relationships with different people that I know that are children of God, that have the heart of God. Um, they can't help it what position they was born in either any more than I can. They can't help it because they was born white like I can't help it that I was born black. Right? So it's really hard, it's really easy to get caught up in that type of stinking thinking right now when you see shit. And every time you see white allies out there, oh yeah, well they should be out there. Or they're like, no, 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 no. Get that stuff out of your vocabulary. If you can't see what's going on right now, acknowledge it. Be grateful for it because you've never had a time like this in history. And with me saying that means that we owe this time respect. You know, ask yourself, if you was in control of the world, you know, and for the cognitive dissonance, if 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 you woke up tomorrow and everything was reversed, you know, how would white folks handle it and how would you handle it? So I do know that if I was winning and I was in control and I was in power, I would make sure my people was in control. Um, or at least, I, you know, not so much as control. I would make sure that they had some power first because I don't have a need to control people. But I, I have a need to look out for my family first, just like. If I, I'm not going to go across the street and feed my neighbor's children and my children are at home hungry. That would be crazy, right? So, by the same token, I kind of use that analogy when I talk about white folk. I mean, hell, they look out for their own. That's something that we should do. But we've been taught to hate each other. That's why we kill each other and do all the kind of things. Because unlike them, they haven't been taught to hate each other like that. We've been taught. Everything black is ugly. And for generation after generation after generation, when that program sits in the DNA, uh, the mindset, it's kind of hard for uh, the person to act different because he doesn't see himself different. He sees himself as being hated and not worth very much. But I'm here to say that you are. Okay? And what's happening right now is showing that you, that God is on your side. God is on your side. You just have to sustain this. You have to keep it going. You can't, this is not something that, you know, people are just going to look at like, ah, oh, okay, they'll be done with it tomorrow. No, won't be. There has to be some fundamental changes here in America. And um, that's what you're seeing. So as black people, I, my people, I want you to know, and brown people and white people that are poor, anybody under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that if you stand for good, I support you. If you already know that we can't go on with this stinking thinking and this racism and this craziness and, and police brutality and police just and, and, and a, uh, that can just murder black people and brown people at will. More specifically, black people put their foot on their neck literally and just snuff the life out of them. And this has been going on and we can continue to watch this. There's no way. And that's why policing has to be re-examined. It just has to be. The time, the jig is up. You know, y'all done got all, and I'm talking to the elite group. They now they done got all you got all you can out of your two dollars. Okay, you done milked us freaking dry. You done damn near killed the society now, and you done unleashed the coronavirus. We know that we have some cult followers here that uh, elected a demigod and a straight demon to the office, and we get to watch all the the, the ugliness of man play out all over again. But the real people refuse to go back there again. We ain't going back there. You gotta be crazy. You think Donald Trump is God? 
Donald Trump and all the rest of his cronies are going to be moved out the way. It's time. It's time to get out the way now, man. You is you are out of place. You out of time, and you are all wrong for this country and for what is happening on the planet right now. So you don't know that right so now. So you probably the last twitch, the last twinge of the great uh, white hope for people that think like you and are racist like you and that are, are pillaging off of other people and just psychopaths like look. When you when your tenure is done, we're going to have to find a mental house to put your ass in for real. <laughs> I was straight up. We're going to have to find somewhere to put you. You and your burgers and Melania and, and the rest of y'all. <laughs> y'all got to go. Y'all really do. Because just looking at your face is just getting to be real. It's just getting real to get tiring for a lot of us. But back to the conversation at hand, y'all. Listen, I just want you to stay safe. I just, you know, wanted to say that this morning um, because it was just on my heart to say, um, I love you. Um, I hope you staying safe. I hope you're still honoring yourself and this freaking whatever is going on out here, your coronavirus. Just wear a mask just in case. And like I said, just get ready because if those of y'all don't believe in voting, I understand. I get it. But just do it anyway come November. You know what I mean? Just take a shot. What you, like he said, what you got to lose. Just take one last shot at it, okay? Just take one last shot of it. Just for your mama, your grandmama's sake. Because they don't want to see Donald Trump's ass no more. They don't want to see his face in there. So if you could do us a favor, us old school, uh, old heads, get this dude about Please get out there and vote so I don't have to see none of these these people in the office no more. Okay, I don't want to see their faces. I don't know where he's going after his tenure, but he ain't. He gonna have to probably have to go out the country somewhere. He can go to one of his little uh, hotels in Switzerland, you know, because I don't think he's welcome, even not in his home state of New York. So, do your part. Your part is to stay alive. Your part is to stay prayed up. Your part is to stay loving. Um, and it's okay to feel hateful sometimes, but let it pass. Don't stay in it. It's okay to be disappointed in this shit. Don't stay in it. All right? Um, but we got to let our soldiers do what they got to do. So I'm going to let you know that, uh, again, I support you. I love you. I want you to stay well. Then at the end of the day, um, let's see what the new America looks like. Because the old one, it sucked. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.